everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are starting off our day with the redoing of the photo shoot. It is kind of sad and frustrating, but sometimes that just happens. And I'm really excited because I think the pictures that were by the pink tree turned out really good. And I know we only have a few days where the tree will be that beautiful. So I wanna get as many pictures there as we can. And we'll just have a fun time. Nick is actually getting us some coffee, so that is nice to have a little treat, but it is delayed. So hopefully it gets here kind of in time. It's not going to be here on time, but maybe a little bit in time. This is an item coming, and I will officially announce here because we t told on the live yesterday that the Easter collection is coming the next Thursday. So Thursday just passed, so the upcoming Thursday will be the Easter collection release, spring and Easter. It's kind of a little bit of everything, and clothes bandanas, toys, there's lots of toys, and collar. So all the fun things will be coming Thursday at 7 p.m. for the Spreester launch. I'm gonna call it the Spreester for now, but I bet Nick will hate that. But today I wanted to, the vlog to be about answering common questions that we get from other business owners because I feel like I touched on this pretty recently in a vlog, but reality is different than what you see online whether it's here or on any kind of social media so people are asking these questions after they see things that we post so i want to answer them truthfully honestly and give my best advice to those who are you know interested in these questions and if you're not a small business owner i think that you can really take the answers to these into whatever you're doing um and if not maybe you'll just learn more about our business and find something interesting or learn something new okay set up my own fake tripod on a box so i hope y'all don't fall over i hope i don't break the camera and i hope that the birds aren't annoying they are very loud this morning it is a beautiful spring day it is like march 2nd but it is very nice out it's a little breezy but it's going to be like 80 degrees today um and i thought it was really nice out and the lighting is good out here so why not do my little q a out here let me know if y'all like this or if the birds I could just turn them down a little bit that would be nice but the first question is how do we get so many sales the answer to that is i feel like well i feel like the thought behind that question is people see all the tiktoks and instagrams of us shipping all that giant stack of boxes and you know tons of things making people's orders and we do have orders every single day that's also a question do you get an order every single day there hasn't been a day in a very long time that we haven't had an order we have many orders in a day and how do we do that number one is marketing so how are you going to let people know about your product um, you can definitely do this organically, which means that you're not paying any money and that you're going to do it all yourself without putting any money into getting it in front of those people. That is much harder. You have to have a longer plan because it's going to take time to build that organic growth. Um, if you want to build a little bit faster and if you have a marketing budget, then I would suggest looking into how you can pay to do that. Every platform, I believe every platform that I know of has a version where you can pay to get it in front of the people that you want it to be in front of. And to really do that, you have to sit down and think, who is your target market? Who do you want to have your product? And really narrow it down to a specific group. Because if you say that everyone is your target market, you're not going to sell to everyone. There's just no way. No one, other than Amazon now, I feel like, um, sells to everyone and they didn't start there. So if you're starting out, to me, starting out is still even now. Like for us, this is probably still the beginning of our journey, we're three years in, but if we plan to do this for 20 plus years, year three is still the beginning. So just don't think that the beginning is like literally the beginning because to me, I still feel like I'm in the beginning in the long term, but I'm not in the beginning in the short term, if that makes sense. So figuring out your target market, target market and then how are you going to get in front of those people? So organic growth, um, I'm just gonna go for the basics here. Organic growth, again, not paid. So posting on Instagram, posting reels, posting TikToks, posting on Pinterest, um, using keywords that can be found in search engines that you don't have to pay to do that. That is all free ways and organic ways. And then paying would be like putting money into Facebook to then push it into the eyes of a new person. Um, that, we do both, obviously. we 
post a ton of things on social media. We have a ton of people order by seeing a TikTok, which is free, but we also have a ton of people who order by seeing an ad on Facebook or Instagram. So we do both. Um, so that is how we get our orders for the most part. Sometimes people stumble upon us by Googling and I guess that is still organic growth because we're using those keywords for them to find. So the answer to getting as many orders as we do is marketing. Um, also with that, my number one tip after those things is to make sure your product is very clear what you're selling, what the person's going to get by having good photos, clear, good photos, um, easy to see the product, to know what they're getting, and descriptions for the product. Now, it's very important that your photo is like, let's see if I can stand like this instead of hunching. Okay, this looks good. Um, so, the photo is the most important to me because I've learned that a ton of people don't read. You don't want to go shopping and have to read a whole novel. So, you want to make it maybe in one to two sentences, what is the product, and any important things. If it's going to take longer than someone might expect to ship, if, um, I don't know, the colors might look different a little bit. If you see your product photo and you're like, oh, this doesn't look like what they're going to get, make sure the product photo looks like the actual product so that the customer is happy when they receive the product they know what they're getting and also you know there's so many probably of the thing that you're selling like if I'm selling this top there's probably a ton of tops in the world that look like this so why are they going to choose to buy the one from me the answer will be either that my marketing got it in front of them before someone else's or they liked my product photo it looked cute or they could tell what they were getting or they could see clearly the item and the product description may be telling them the sizing chart or about the product or i don't know any key features so that is going to be how you can get your sales with that is how did you grow so fast i definitely talked about this in a vlog recently maybe nick can link it here um but we did not grow so fast. Maybe everyone's journey is different. So um, I don't really know what is the thought behind that exact question. I think people just see the success now, which um, has taken a while to get here. So and to us and to you, success, success just looks different to everyone. So, you know, to Jeff Bezos, I look like a little puny kid who knows no idea what they're doing. But well, I can't speak for him, so I guess I don't know. But that business compared to our business is completely different. But us compared to maybe someone that's just starting out, that's why they're asking how do we grow so fast because they're just starting out and then they see that we can do it and they want to do it. Um, if you want to do it, you definitely can. You just have to know that it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of marketing to get in front of those people. And if you're going to do organic growth, it takes so much time because you're having to create all the content, you're having to somehow get it in front of people because if you have people following your page, that's great. You have like, you know, this family that you're starting to create and they're interested in what you're doing, but you can't just have those people. You're always going to want to be getting new people. So you just have to find ways to find those new people. And another popular question that we get is how did we get our first sale? Now, this is probably, this is an opinion of mine, but I feel like that is going to be the hardest thing that you have to overcome. Um, maybe like in that first year of business, there's so many things that you're gonna have to figure out when you're starting, but getting that first person especially okay your first stranger person because like maybe your mom or your sister or your brother your cousin someone will say that they'll support your business by buying it to me that doesn't really count you need to get that one person who doesn't know you to buy and that is going to be your hardest thing because no one especially if they can see like on etsy it tells you how many sales no one wants to like buy something from someone who's never sold anything because how do you trust them how do you know so i would say to get your first sale, maybe you do hope that someone close to you buys and can write a review so that there's someone to, you know, go off of and trust. And then as you start doing that, start building your reviews. And don't be afraid to ask for them. In the beginning, I asked for them to my customers once they bought and it was delivered and I felt comfortable. I would say, hey, um, now that you've received your product, do you mind writing me a review? And, you know, I feel like. 70% of the time they would actually write a review um, the only problem with that is that you have to expect that they could write a bad review if they don't like your product so I would only suggest doing that if you have a good product or you feel like you have a good product and yeah because if you're asking for a review you can't ask 
them to do a five star review. You want them to be authentic and to write how they really feel. So that is a little bit risky, but I did it and it worked for me. So I would say having reviews is very helpful and then you can put those on social media and all, I don't know, you can put them anywhere. So reviews are very helpful. Okay, the last thing I'm going to touch on is how to create all of that content if you're trying to organically grow a business or following or whatever it may be. So I hear a squirrel. Um, creating content is a lot. So what I would suggest is like picking an idea, pick a bunch of topics, and then for each topic, think about different ways that you can use that topic. So I don't know, for example, like our different types of bandanas. Well, we have many different types and they're handmade. So between that topic of types of bandanas, I can create probably at least 10 easy videos or Instagram posts about that topic. So come up with those different things on one topic and then you'll have a ton of content for one month. You can also create a content calendar. Um, we actually hosted a webinar on a little bit on this and um, I shared that. So if you are part of that, you can still use that PDF. Using a content calendar can really help you to figure out what you're gonna post and when you're gonna post it and stay on track. Because for me, that is probably my hardest thing is as a business owner, you have all these hats, you're doing all these different things, and you need to keep up with the content, and sometimes the content for me can really fall second because I'm trying to do all these other things. So if I keep my content calendar and remember to stay on track, then it definitely is more helpful. And I could, I feel like a lot of people are like, I don't have the equipment, I don't have a tripod, I don't have this, I don't have that. There's always excuses. Right now, I am putting my camera on top of a box. If I, you don't have a camera, you can use a phone. If you don't have a phone, maybe you can borrow someone, um, like a friend or family members, maybe they'll let you borrow it to film and start your business. And then as you grow, maybe you'll get a little bit of money and then you can invest into one. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, I can answer them there or I could do a part two if there's enough questions. Um, I'm always here trying to help y'all because I know when you're first starting out or even not, there's no one else that you can ask. There's no guidebook. There's no answers. There's no right way as well. So you can figure out your own ways. If you don't like something I said, there's always so many different ways. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys next week. Bye.